going to show you how to do a one hour roast chicken really simple chicken quickly cooked um, beautiful and tender and moist so uh, first of all what we need is um, uh, for the sauce uh, which we're going to add a little bit of peas a little bit of lettuce some vinegar and some white wine a little bit of cream and butter okay okay and we're going to make a stuffing for the chicken with some uh, cream cheese and a little bit of butter and some fresh herbs excellent okay so uh, first of all I need some cream cheese in here so a little spoonful of that a little bit of butter as well and then we're going to put some herbs now you can put anything that you've got in the uh, in the garden in truth you could put uh, some marjoram uh, you could put a little bit of basil in there whatever is actually in there at the time but today we're going to use some rosemary a little bit of tarragon a little bit of chervil so perhaps you could pick some of them sure. for me yeah. and why why this combination uh, because they're fresh and they're in season anything that's actually around at the time they just need to be roughly chopped up so that'd be great a and uh, there's a little bit of rosemary okay. as well Okay, I'll take that. And you could mix the uh, the butter and the cream cheese for me if you want. Put a good pinch of a uh, good pinch of salt and a good pinch of uh, of pepper in it as well. In the cream cheese on the yeah. butter. All right. Now I know I'm not doing this uh, Michelin star style. Hey, <laughs> uh, this isn't a Michelin style dish. This is a real simple kind of you know Sunday roast. So just pass that to me. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a few herbs in there. And stir those in. Yep. Okay, and that's the stuffing. Quite simple, quite, uh, quite quick as well. Okay, so we need to um, prepare a chicken. So, um, first of all, I'm just going to take the parson's nose off here. And what, what is the parson's nose? <sighs> it's this, and apparently I've been told. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> it's apparently, it's, it's not the bit I would want to eat, but apparently it's the bit that the parson always wanted all to right. eat for, for some strange reason, I have to say. So, um, we'll just loosen the skin. Put the finger in, just move it around, make a nice little pocket, a little bit of the mix stuffing in there. Push that in. And how much cream cheese and how much butter had you, oh, did you put in there? You've probably got about 50-50, so you've probably got a half cheese, half butter, and as many herbs as you can get really in, in, in there. So keep it all nice, trap it all in. When we actually seal the... Um, the chicken afterwards all this skin will seal to it and hold all those all right. so it'll continually baste it as well so um, we need a nice hot roasting tray so I'm just going to put this on first just get that nice and hot and then the, the trick to this is actually to um, is to cook the legs at the same time as the breast so in order to do that and do people cut normally not cook them at the same time no they don't but this will nice and crisp it up as well so do the legs three normally, nice normally? Three nice flushes in there. I'll try. Yeah. Nice and deep. Particularly one in here as well, where it's quite a thick bit. So tie those up. Just a little bit of a knot in there. Just so that they don't open up. Brush it with a little bit of oil. In particular in here. All over. And then a little bit of salt and pepper. And all we're going to do is we're actually going to cook this on the side and so that the leg cooks the leg is the thickest bit and the bit that doesn't cook as quick as the breast and the breast will dry out so actually what we want to do is make sure it's sealed on one side really really well 